So in this video, we're going to be doing some examples of product rule. And in this video only, inshallah, we'll do some word problems also. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So here you have part B, which uh, since the question exclusive explicitly asks us to solve this using the product rule that's exactly why i'm going to use the product rule otherwise i would have just suggested to open the bracket and then just solve it right away okay i'm not solved but like differentiated okay but anyway so in this case u becomes equal to 2x which means u prime is equal to 2 v is equals to 3x plus 5 which means that v prime is equal to 3 okay so v u prime plus u v prime is what it's going to be equal to dy by dx. So v u prime means taking 3x plus 5, multiplying it by 2, and u v prime means taking 2x and multiplying it by 3. So let's see what do we get. So we get 6x plus 10 plus 6x. So the answer turns out to be 12x plus 10, which is the correct answer. Okay, and then comes part E. Now part E is slightly more complex, and before we go about differentiating it, remember, we have to first make it differentiation ready. Okay, so that means x into x minus five to the power half. Okay, so u in this case is equal to x, which means u prime is equal to one. V in this case is x minus five to the power half, which means that v prime is gonna be equal to half into x minus five to the power minus half, or if you can sort of anticipate and see what the power is going to be, you can immediately write it like this, one upon two square root x minus five, okay? Now, let's see, <clears throat> let's see what two expressions we're gonna multiply. So we're gonna multiply vu prime with uv prime, okay? So if you multiply vu prime, let's see what you get. So vu prime basically is just gonna be as good as square root of x minus five, okay? Now you might, be confused or you may be wondering that why am I switching between power half and rewriting it as square root so when you're sort of approaching the final answer it's best to start writing it as square root of x minus y however if you don't it's perfectly all right okay it's just my personal method of solving it and it doesn't necessarily have to match with yours okay so that's how it works plus x over 2 square root x minus 5 okay now, again, if you leave it over here, it's perfectly all right. It's nothing wrong with that. But in some cases, the question will ask you to simplify. And that's exactly what I'm going to do over here, even though the question hasn't asked us to do that. Okay. So 2 square root x minus 5 is going to be your LCM. Okay. Let's switch to a different color now. So the denominator of square root x minus 5 is just 1. So that means we need to multiply it by 2 square root of x minus 5. So that means this also gets multiplied by 2 into square root of x minus 5. Now, be careful. Square root of x minus 5, when multiplied by square root of x minus 5, becomes just x minus 5. So you have a 2, and then you have x minus 5. And then you have a plus x, because this you're going to multiply by 1, and that means this also gets multiplied by 1. So dy by dx is now equal to what? Let's see. dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 10 plus x over 2 square root of x minus 5. Now, in this case in the book that we're using, the question has, uh, the answers at the back are basically simplified. So it's a good habit to have simplifying your answer because that makes checking the answer a whole lot easier. And this is the correct answer. Okay, now comes part K, which uh, is what, X minus one, the whole thing square into X plus two, the whole thing squared. Again, this also you can argue can be expanded and then solved and then differentiated and you nothing wrong with that, but we have to use the product rule. And even though we can expand it and then differentiate it, I wouldn't even recommend in this case that you do that because there's gonna be a lot of working. So U is X minus one, the whole thing squared, which means U prime is gonna be two into X minus one. And V is X plus two, the whole thing squared, which means that V prime is going to be 2 x plus 2. Okay, now, so you have vu prime plus uv prime, okay? So vu prime means that x plus 2, and remember this is dy by dx. x plus 2, the whole thing square, multiplied by 2 into x minus 1, plus uv prime, which means x minus 1, the whole thing square, multiplied by 2, x plus 2, okay? Now, let's see what we can do to simplify this. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna write it nicely. So two into x plus two, the whole thing squared into x minus one. So I'm just rearranging them, okay? Plus two into x plus two to the power one into x minus one to the power two. Okay, 
Now let's see what we can take common over here. So we can take two commons, that's a no brainer. And then we can take <coughs> one power of x plus two along with one power of x minus one common, okay? And what do we multiply it with? So we multiply it with, if you look, if, if you compare this with the first expression, you can see that you have two, you have x plus two to the power one and you have x minus one to the power one. So the only thing that's missing is one power of x plus two. And then if you compare these two, you can see that you have two, you have x plus two, and the only thing that's missing is basically one power of x minus one, okay? And then if you simplify this further, you get two x plus one, which then is multiplied by x minus one, which then is multiplied by x plus two, which is then <laughs> multiplied by two. Now, let me check the answer. I'm sure there must be something interesting going on over here. Uh, actually, no, this is the final answer, so yeah. Again, if you're, if you're thinking that how about I multiply this two with this expression, you can do that. The only reason why we can't know for sure is because the question hasn't told us, okay? So even, like I said, even if you had stopped over here, this also is perfectly all right, but just make sure to read the question carefully, okay? So let me just write dy by dx over here. And this is the final answer, okay? So now we're gonna do some word problems, okay? So there's nothing, again, no new concept here, just What's different is the way the question is structured, okay? So it says here, find the gradient of the curve, y is equals to x square plus square root of x plus two at the point two comma eight. Now, one thing that before I solve a question, this question is that you can and should know how to check your answer using your calculator. Remember that you can't actually differentiate in your calculator, but what you can do is you can see what the value, what the value of dy by dx will be after you plug in a certain value of x. So I've made a video on it. I'll hopefully not forget to share a link of it in the description. But if I do, just drop a comment and that should be a subtle reminder. Okay, so how exactly are we gonna find the gradient? As you know, from prior knowledge, the y coordinate is irrelevant. So all we have to do is once we have dy by dx, plug in the x coordinate, which is two in this case. Okay, so let's see what do we have. So we have y equals to x square into x plus two to the power half. You can see I've made a differentiation ready. So u equals to x square, which means that u prime equals to 2x. v equals to x plus 2 to the power half, which means that v prime is equals to half into x plus 2 to the power minus half, which as I mentioned earlier, if you can, actually, you know what? In this case, it's completely irrelevant. You know why? Think about it. Why do you think it's irrelevant? Okay, while I'm writing down dy by dx, okay? So v u prime plus uv prime. So let's see what dy by dx is gonna be equal to v u prime means 2x into square root of x plus 2. u v prime means x square over 2 square root of x plus 2. Now I'm not gonna bother simplifying it. Why? Because it's irre irrelevant. And why is it irrelevant? Hopefully you have your answer by now. That's because at the end you have to plug in the value of x, okay? So it doesn't matter how you write it as long as you're ending up with the correct answer. So two plus two, so x is basically getting replaced by two. So two squared is four over two into two plus two. I think I can write that as four, okay? So let's see, two into two is four, two plus two is four, square root of which is two plus four over two and square root of four is also two. So this two into two is four gets simplified by this four, which is equal to one, by the way. Don't just completely neglect it altogether. Remember that you still have a plus one, okay? So what is the dy by dx? Or in other words, what is the gradient of this curve? <coughs> At the point two comma eight, it's nine. That is your final answer, which is the correct answer also. Okay, now here's another question. The way this question is structured is slightly different, okay? But concept involved is the same. So it says here, find the gradient of the curve y equals to so and so at the point points, okay? So that's, that's relevant, where the curve meets the x-axis. Okay, so if the curve is meeting the x-axis, that means y is gonna be zero. But we know that it's not really the y coordinate that we plug in in dy by dx, it's the x coordinate because dy by dx is always in terms of x, okay? So how is this y coordinate going to help us really? Well, this is how it's gonna help us. So we're gonna say zero equals to x plus two into x minus five, the whole thing square, which means that it's either x plus two that's equal to zero or x minus five, the whole thing square equals to zero. And now hopefully the word points would have made sense to you, okay? Now you can probably see why the question has used the word point because there are multiple values of x. One is minus two or the other is 
positive 5. Okay, you, you're going to square root both sides, so you're going to have x minus 5 equals to 0, which then if you solve for the value of x, you have x equals to 5. Okay. Now, so that's, uh, you can say 25% of the work done, we still have to differentiate it. So y equals to x plus 2 into x minus 5, the whole thing square. So u equals x plus 2, which means u prime is equal to 1. v equals to x minus 5, the whole thing squared, which means v prime is going to be equal to 2 into x minus 5 into 1, or that's might as well not write it, okay? So v u prime plus u v prime is what dy by dx is going to be equal to. So dy by dx equals to x minus 5, the whole thing square, plus 2 into x plus 2 into x minus 5, okay? Now remember, you have to plug in two different values of x, okay? So one value that you're going to plug in is negative 2, okay? And the other value that you're going to plug in is 5, okay? So let's find out what dy by dx is when x is minus 2, okay? So to save some time, I'm just going to plug in the value directly in the calculator and write the final answer, okay? So minus 2, minus 5, the whole thing square, plus 2 bracket, minus 2 plus 2, close the bracket, minus 2, minus 5. So one value of dy by dx is 49, which is the correct answer, thankfully. And the other value we're going to get of dy by dx when we plug in 5, okay? Now, if you think about it, if you plug in 5 over here, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 squared is 0. If you plug in 5 minus 5 here, 0, doesn't matter what it gets multiplied by, it's going to be 0. So 0 plus 0 is what you're going to end up with, which is actually equal to 0. And there you go. That's it. The question is, thankfully, solved. So I hope you've understood not only how product rule is applied, but also how we can solve word problems using product rule. Okay. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will start with quotient rule, okay, which is what happens when two functions are, two expressions are divided such that you cannot bring them down to a single expression. So I'll see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.